Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy where we go on with the campaign Eldari Invaders. To my great surprise the Star Fort was occupied by Eldari forces. The Xenos intruders were also seeking the legacy of Utha Tiberius, the being known as the Alpha Pariah. According to my tech priest the hostility of these Eldar is rooted in an unfortunate exterminatus against an Eldari maiden world. I have no time to dwell on past mistakes. Securing the Alpha Pariah is the only thing that matters. Argus are detecting significant hostile forces on this level. Are you absolutely sure you want to go in alone? This is the most optimal decision. Based on the facts I have gathered on the Alpha Pariah so far, she would be a valuable asset to the Imperium. Oh yeah, I think so too. And yes, we of course want to do it alone, because why not? Who else shall actually help us? The um, Sergeant of the Stormwatchers? I don't so. so a nice little inoculator and these statues of course look absolutely amazing gotta love that so I can say that every time and I say that every time I just love the imperial style I love it the little um, gothic theme of the um, of mankind in this game absolutely amazing So I'm resummoning, resummoning our guys here. Because there's a, oh my goodness, that was amazing. Because we had a little bit of trouble back here. So he is down. Nice. This guy is down as well. Um, I'm wondering again. I'm sorry. The uh, summons a stationary um, Nico Mech. It will boost nearby constructs. Okay, that of course is good. That is good. So I we to resummon the close combat robots there. They are very very useful to say the least. I have noticed a sudden swarm of Cherubim. What is happening, Margos? By restoring the power grid, you have activated the local Cherub Shrine. Are these Cherubim performing surveillance on this level? This is their standard behavior pattern after an extended hibernation cycle. If I may give you some advice, you can access the information gathered at the Cherubim Shrine. Yes, surveillance data is the prerequisite to tactical planning. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, so that's not the shrine. Okay, where did these banshees come from? I don't care, they are so say goners. The credits I'll of course take with me. Why not? Okay, I'll close okay. Could you please summon? Thank you. I don't know why nothing has been summoned there. Let's bring the big boy down, like so. And then he will fall then quickly afterwards. Nice that he uses his um, D gun or his Vortex gun. So close combat attacks there. And we need to feature indeed. Main implant on, it goes. We lost a lot of HP, but I am. Hoping to be honest, well, and yeah, I'll take an inoculator right not. Why not? Why should I wait when you know we have a weevil available right here? Did not expect that um, to be that. I didn't want. I did want to say relevant, but that's the wrong word. But to be as important here to us that we need to um, that we take so much damage over time and technically nearly die half of the time. Okay, these guys are goners. I'll of course go to the cogitator and um, preliminary observation. 
even after the devastation invasion of the Tyranid High Fleet Garm, Forgeworth Thule is still standing strong due to the Dauntless Legion of the Adeptus Mechanicus protecting this colossal heart of industry. The massive manufacturers uh, are recently churning out weaponry and machine parts to supply the sector with the gifts of the Omnisire as the tech priests are prone to preach around here. Um, Fabricator General um, Tubalt Vertex gathering information on the Fabricator General is the center of power is boarding on the Fabricator General is in his center of power is bordering um, of the impossible. Vertex is considered a competent, logical and devoted leader ruling the Forge World from uh, with Iron Fist. By all accounts he is re a respected member of the Cult Mechanicus although even this must Devo his most devoted followers admit that there is um, his own agenda and he's willing to um, dedicate l long decades to see the plans come to fruition. I suggest that the Conclave should keep him under strict observation in the future. The most disturbing realization during my investigation is the strong influence of the Xenatrites seem to have over Fort with Thule. The Puritans of the Conclave have um, harbored the significant um, reservations regarding the Skull Mechanicus um, faction for a very long time due to the generate dedication to heretical and Xenos technology, and my findings only reinforced um, our prevailing um, uncertainty. Coligari Conclave archives copied also, also rendered for the inspection of the de um, Department of Morality. Okay, that's nice, um, but why not use alien technology. If you not use it, you can theoretically just use it um, and um, reverse engineer it. Um, that could help out, I think, the Imperium um, over long or short, in my humble opinion. So now we definitely need a inoculator. We are of course under heavy attack here. And then taking the ref guard down. Why do they attack us here actually? These nasty buggers. Then one more. Oh, nice level up. That's good as well. That makes us a little more powerful, I assume. So, did we actually get a... Okay. Um, 46. Okay, 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 okay. So, this one is an upgrade. This one is definitely a upgrade, so I'll take it. 9 is no. Let's take it. Okay. So, on we go. I might even... Okay, I thought we could activate um, some turrets here, but no, we can't, so we just go on. An atrocious waste. So we are, of course, not of course, but we are facing a warlock here. I think we have not faced it before, but it is not as powerful as I, mm, I imagined it to be. I really thought it would be a very, very psychic um, heavy being, but anyhow. I'll take a quick look here. 17, that one is a upgrade. 47, that is a small... Oh, 48, I am looking forward to that. And this one is no upgrade. Okay, so we are now a little bit more powerful. And we punch a little faster, which of course is very, very good. So there the Harlequin is. So what are they doing here? It's sadly enough that we can't hear what they are saying. But I guess this pick feed is going to repeat, repeat and repeat. Play our parts too. Wise, 
Alright, so they talked something about a plan. Okay, good, good. So now then I remember here, guys. That we of course have played this story part before with um, our other Inquisitor. So um, for some of your people it might be um, double, but um, well, we have to go through it with this character here as well. So that is very, very good indeed. Um, the big question I have, of course, is where we then have to go. Find the Alpha Pariah. I'll use the teleporter beacon here. That is very, very convenient, and we have to get through them doors up here. Oh, they are opened right now. That is good. That is good, and I'll, of course, use... I remember this mission, by the way, now. <laughs> um, there's going to be a little... Um, it's not setback, that's not what I want to say, but a little... Um, A unplanned Eldari right on us right here. So, of course, the um, trap bolt guns there did help out a lot. Okay, resummoning our staff. Ah, and we only have one attack. Ah, okay. We have a new kind of armor. Yes, that of course makes absolute sense. That our that our um, you know skill set is being replaced. I need to get used to that because we basically only have one attack now with this X. Oh yeah, oh, 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 there we nearly died. Um, let's then take down the Wrath Plate here, that I think is one of the uh, more powerful enemies around. We are shocked, we are overwhelmed, that of course overall is not very good, but what shall I do? I don't have much choice here. And I still don't know what um, our, our priority targets right here, whether um, we should or first of all clear out the little um, targets at first, the little um, banshees, or, and then the big guys in the end. That is something I am not certain right now. Are you trying to flee the mayhem of your own doing? I am nothing but an observer of the unfolding tragedy. Stop speaking in riddles. What tragedy? The Harbinger was brought into existence for a reason. She is either the fall or the last hope of your misguided kind. Is she now? Tell me everything about the Alpha Pariah or I will kill you. You have no sense of timing, human. We will meet again at a more suitable place and time. What in the name of the Emperor was that creature? A Harlequin. A member of an extremely militant and highly cultured subgroup within the Eldari race that doesn't belong to any faction. Alright, um, that is true. Although I like them very, very much. Um, wonderful models, by the way. And I, of course, think the background, the Eldari, not the, the Eldari, but the Harlequin background is very, very good. One of the I think most potent backgrounds in the 40k universe, in my little humble opinion here. So that is one thing I, when I played this mission with our um, main Inquisitor, um, I was a little bit confused by. As I said before, I absolutely love the mechanics on the warp spiders. I like that they. Um, 
teleport to you and once you punch or shoot at them they teleport away um, but what I don't understand is that they, they teleport right in front of you and um, that actually in my opinion does not really make sense but anyhow that's just me going on the persistence of your kind monkey almost makes you interesting I will not rest until I have secured the Imperial subject. Why? She is unnatural. She is everything we both consider repugnant. That is totally irrelevant to the situation. Still, you don't need to be concerned about her. We will need her alive. But I am yet concerned. And, okay, though, let me first of all take down the um, these guys here they are um, bonus damage on me I don't necessarily need and then let's put down the ref guard here nice as I said it is a summoner as well that of course is very very na not nasty but you know what I mean and I need to get used to that we only uh, I have one punch available here and that the other thing then is summoning our little robots so let's bring him down he's nearly nearly gone what the hell where mm, okay so that is his speciality I guess appearing and this is not disappearing but that is one thing I absolutely hate in this game. There are certain psychas which um, which are actually um, tripling or doubling, to be precise, and then you have to kill them three times. That is very, in my opinion at least, relatively annoying. So this guy is gone, putting all things up. I really need to reactivate the um, auto pickup Another functionality. It might contain new clues. All right. Um, Farsia Manwith is the greatest among us. He saw the abyss coming in the form of the moon key girl. He saw our salvation by stealing the future of those who stole our future. The victori victories of the Farsia are great against the fallen moon key and nightmares and the servants of the beyond. Yet my heart is heavy. Um, Thuthril is fading while we spend our efforts on fickle dreams. The monkey um, deserve our wrath, but the stars are not right. Conclusion Alpha. The Elder War host is led by an inf infamous um, Farseer. The Farseers act as augurs to um, and see us for the Elder race, although as a somewhat more advanced civilization they ought... Um, they ought... Um, oh goodness, they ought... Um, Ostracize such superstition. According to Ordo, Xenos Farsia, um, Menwith led several successful campaigns at the past against chaos cults and ty tyrant infested planets. So far, he has wisely evaded the wrath of the Imperium. Conclusion better, since Graftworks are semi organic megastructures serving a as <laughs> habit for the craft related a majority catastrophe occurring on a craft could explain the sudden aggressiveness of the Xenos and their frustration about their um, exterminated planet. That of course makes sense. Um, I would react the same way, I guess. So let's resumming the close combat guys. And there the pariah is, so let's fight our way through these guys here and free the pariah. Not free, but set her to our ship. Stuff with us. There should be still a couple of enemies in front of us, but I think we can... No, not. That's surprising. But good. Fair enough. Stay away from me. Did you see what I did to those... Elder? Yes. I have the pit records of the entire encounter for further analysis. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am an Inquisitor of the Holy Orders. 
I have been investigating the mysteries of Uther Tiberius. I'm here to take you to safety. Uther Tiberius? What should I even call that man? My creator? My father? My nemesis? I have insufficient information to answer your question at this time. And what if I want to stay here? Will you kill me then? Do you harbor any curiosity about your origins? Wouldn't you like to gain more information on your potential? That's all I've ever wanted. But you didn't answer my question. It was a foolish question. I can provide protection and a relatively comfortable existence for you. Rejecting my offer would be illogical. I'll go with you. I don't feel I have any choice, anyway. Alright, level up. That's nice now. We are level 10. What is a little troubling for me, not the story, of course, is that we are are losing HP so quickly here with our nice little tech priest eye. Um hope that is going to change while or during we gear up. Inquisitor Kravart, you may be relieved to know that I have completed my mission without your assistance. We expected no less of you. However, I demand that you cease your involvement in this matter and place the martyr and that alpha pariah to order hereticus custody i am a seeker of knowledge myself and i shall be involved in the ongoing investigation other tiberius was a heretic the malta has clearly been a hotbed of heretical activity this is order hereticus jurisdiction and we will purge every last hall of that accursed ship the decks are swarming with daemons are you prepared to start a jurisdictional dispute with the ordo malleus as well I don't like your tone, Inquisitor. Not one bit. We could make a compromise. I can give up the investigation on the Martyr, but the Alpha subject is the most intriguing asset for the Imperium we've had. I must study her abilities. I usually don't compromise, but considering your stellar achievements in the fight against heresy, I am willing to make an exception. I sense a but coming. But we might need your help as well. A sudden outbreak of potentially chaos-related infestation on Cascadia Prime requires attention. We need our forces on the Martyr. If you are willing to investigate the infestation, you can take the Alpha subject with you. The Martyr cannot leave this system, though. I can accept that compromise. Alright, so that we already knew. That is not that bad, actually. Um, we are level 10, that is nice, unlock new type, okay, extra component slot on inoculators to um, skill points, and yes guys, I will of course get into skill points at one point, so this one is technically a nice little upgrade, so let's do that, I'll put you down in order <laughs> I uh, change my mind on the, oh my goodness, okay, I'd rather take the this one then I'll put you then there 45 okay 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 56 that of course is a huge upgrade um, I'll take that then okay guys that leads us to the end of this episode in the next one we are going to talk to the alpha pariah and we go on with the campaign for now i really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye